Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to chat with you guys about avoiding things I don't want to deal with or avoiding unpleasant things. Can't. Let's get started and talk about it. Let me know if any of you can relate to this. I'm going to just share some things that I don't like dealing with and a lot of other people feel the same way. Number one, weight. I've even had some people say, you know what, I know I'm really overweight and I can feel it. I don't want to get on the scale. I don't want to even think about it. The holidays are coming up. I'll deal with it later. How many times have you heard yourself say this or other people? No judgment towards any of us, but I'll deal with that later. It'll take care of itself. I'm too stressed. I've got too much on my plate. I'll think about it another time. Hey, I know I've said it. First one is weight. I finally am dealing with it because the consequences were not pleasant. And they're getting better, but I'm going to tell you something. You can gain weight a lot faster than you can lose it, right? So weight would be number one. Dentist, number two. I was scared to go to the dentist. It all ended up working out really well. I think many of us avoid unpleasant things or things we're scared of because we worry about the worst case scenario when guess what? Many times if we take care of things or nip them in the bud, as you would say, they may end up working out a lot better. Maybe there's a best case scenario, not worst case scenario. Many of us like to go into that negative thinking. Number three, I didn't feel like dealing with foundation, and I'm gonna also write this down, tree work, because I was worried about being inconvenienced, because I don't like to be inconvenienced. Like with the tree work, I thought I was gonna have to turn the power off, I thought it was gonna take several days, and I wouldn't be able to work. I was concerned about the cost, same with foundation work. I was worried that I was going to have to take out a second mortgage or something like that. It wasn't as big of a deal. Both of these things weren't that big of a deal. If we deal with things right away rather than letting them get to big things, we would be a lot better off. Number four, having a difficult conversation. For example, I've shared this before. I do avoid conflict. I generally, right now in my life, I avoid difficult people or people that fill with drama. I really, I don't want relationships that are a lot of work and I don't like heavy conversations. Um, I just don't enjoy that and at this stage of my life, I don't have to have it. But I really do avoid difficult conversations and talking about feelings and things like that. Uh, that is just not for me, I will say that. Number five, budgeting. A lot of people avoid doing a budget. Maybe they just really know that their budget's not going very well and they just don't feel like cutting back on things. You know, like they, they need things. They enjoy the lifestyle they have and they're not ready to make changes. Many of these things are we just aren't ready to make changes and we stay status quo, but maybe the consequences of our actions haven't, you know, haven't, hasn't, uh, basically affected us too much yet but it will catch up with us okay next exercising that's another big thing people kind of I think avoid and the reason why I think people avoid it is they think that it's an all or nothing like I have to exercise for 45 minutes they don't realize starting off slow even five minutes of anything is better than nothing and it's a start right you have to start somewhere number seven any kind of cleaning yard work or any kind of chore decluttering and to sum it up in a nutshell anything that's going to take you a long time but the more we put off things in any of these areas the more money it could cost us the more it could affect our health the more it can affect us our relationships the more time it's going to take so if we just do little bits we're going to be better off in taking care of things so i wrote down some things that i've been doing with some of these in my life number one pick one thing to work on at a time prioritize it. Let's say your weight's really getting out of hand. You may want to prioritize that first and work on that for a few months. So prioritize something that you feel is the most important on the list that you think is most urgent in your mind. Number two, make it easy. I always say that. Now a lot of people are going to disagree with that. They're going to say you need to give up everything. You need to do this. You need to do that. Well, in my book, it's not sustainable. You can start off being really motivated and gone all, oh, but you have to make the process enjoyable to meet your lifestyle. Number three, set up a reward system for yourself. Let's say, for example, you waste a lot of time each evening watching TV, watching a bunch of videos, not that videos aren't wonderful, and you don't get things done because you're procrastinating because you don't feel like cleaning or organizing. What I do is set up a reward system. Say, okay, you really want to watch this documentary. That's fine, 
but you need to do these three things first. If you get those three things done, the other day, for example, I worked for two complete hours and I knocked out a bunch of things I needed to get done. And I said, after I do those things, then I can relax. So setting up a reward system. Number four, track your progress. I'm tracking my weight and my blood pressure on a spreadsheet and I'm keeping up with it. Track your progress will really make a difference and it's very motivating. Number five, if there's a big task you wanna do, put it on your calendar. Let's just say that you really need to go through some documents and you don't feel like doing it. Put it on your calendar. Don't do anything else that day because a lot of times I'll get in there and say, oh, I need to clean that day, I need to cook that day, I need to make a phone call that day. Don't do anything else that day. That day is dedicated, example, I'm just giving an example, going through your documents or cleaning out the garage or making a couple difficult phone calls. And once you've done those things, then set up a little reward for yourself. Hey, after I do this, I'm going to treat myself to whatever it is that you want to treat yourself to, something that you enjoy. But mark it on your calendar, and that is the only thing you have to do that day. She so can't let anything else come before it and say, well, I was going to do this, but guess what? I was going to go through the documents or clean out the garage or make those difficult phone calls or check out pricing on foundation work, but something else came up. If you have it on your calendar and you don't allow anything else to come up, then it has to get done. And then give yourself reminders. Last but not least, have an accountability partner, somebody you can work with that's working on improving their life. I know I've done a video before, I'm going to link it below, that you can just do five minutes a day on everything. Like right now, I'm working five minutes a day on decluttering. It's amazing. We can improve our life five minutes at a time. Just do a little bit each day. It's not so much the five minutes, it's the consistency. So think of something right now that you are avoiding. It could be something costly. It might not be as costly as you think. You may be able to work out payments. It could be something that is just you don't feel like dealing with it. Is there a friend that can maybe help you? Can you maybe inspire each other? Think about something you've been avoiding because, well, for whatever reason and put it on your calendar and take care of it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Hey, I know I love life to be easy and fun, and I don't like dealing with any of this kind of stuff. And believe me, there's still stuff I need to deal with. But the more we can take care of things, the happier and more at peace we're going to be, and it won't be in the back of our mind. Let me know what you guys think. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye, everybody.